The waves of tsunami left people homeless and helpless. When Vilma and Udo Gastel visited India a year later in 2005, they witnessed the pain of thousands in Puducherry. And that was when this Swiss couple decided to make India their second home. There was a whole fisher village uh, on the beach. It was uh, before it was there and now it was, it was gone. There was nothing more. Mothers were alone with the children. It was a lot, lot, lot of uh, very sad things there. Uh, so we like to help there and to start something. Moved by the level of poverty in some parts of Puducherry, the couple formed the UNV Trust back in Switzerland. Their aim? To improve the lives of the downtrodden in India. We had were very luck, lucky and we born in a, a, a rich country and we mean we have to share with people who need it more than we need. But it was the lack of basic education and the increasing dropout rate of children from the schools in the villages of Puducherry that made them embrace this beautiful island and transform the lives of these children. The couple decided to fully sponsor their education. <laughs> Wilma and Udo Gastel met the principal of Aravinder school and with his help and guidance, the duo shortlisted 70 children whose educational expense would be their responsibility. Thank you. We hope the children, uh, the children we gave a chance now to go to school, um, they bring something for their family and they come uh, out of that very poor uh, situation. But the closest to their heart is the association with Satya Special School. Udo and Wilma put in their financial resources to help open this daycare centre in 2010 in the remote village of Kodathur. Where children with special needs were treated more as a liability than a responsibility. There was a little boy on a, on a mat and we took him out and he could not sit without his hands, he could not do anything. I saw it and I, I, I was feeling that's my job, that, that I have to do. So that was the beginning of a very, very nice story. Satya Special School started because we realized that there were a number of children who were not getting the, the therapy facilities that were needed. So when we suggested Wilma and Udo that there is a huge demand in this particular village, we had already identified about 8 to 10 children. Uh, we asked them if they would be interested in helping us run a centre there. It was always with the motive of wanting to help, wanting to share. Like they've always said that we come from a country which gives us everything. It's time for us to share and give back to the world. Bustling with activity, the Satya Special School not only provides therapy sessions for disabled children, but there are regular counselling sessions for their parents too. From imparting colourful lessons of art and craft to hosting exciting sessions of sports, this centre has rekindled the hopes of many.
2010, when we started the school, with only we, we only had a, a one room. There was no water. There was no toilet. There was nothing. Uh, now we have this nice place. Now we have 29 uh, children, and it is a lot. We will make a, a new school like uh, the big school in Pondicherry. The warmth of the couple has not only infused confidence amongst the children, but has added colour and a new vigour in the lives of their parents. Every single child who is coming to Satya has now seen a marked improvement in their lives. Uh, Children who cannot talk have started talking. In fact, we have cases where the medical fac uh, profession has said this child can only be a vegetable, but children like that have actually started to sit up and, and do some activity. The story of Kandasami itself can tell you from, from an almost forgotten child, you know, who was not cared of. Here is a child who is sitting on a wheelchair and he kind of has become the pride of his village. If you remove Satya out of their lives, it would have probably been stagnant. The image would have been frozen by now. Working selflessly for the welfare of disabled and underprivileged children, Wilma and Udo Gastel are truly Indians at heart, striving to bring a smile and touching the lives of many.